Welcome to the Methodology Institute's SPSS video tutorial series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. This tutorial follows on directly from the previous video, in which we were using the crosstabs function in SPSS to examine the relationship between two categorical variables, with the difference being that in this tutorial we will examine the relationship between the same two variables with the introduction of a third control variable. And in order to do this, we will need to generate and interpret what's known as a three-way crosstab or three-way contingency table. And again, we will also be looking at the chi-squared test statistic. The first two variables we will be working with today are described fully in the previous tutorial. And those variables were, firstly, a binary categorical variable which recorded whether or not respondents were interested in politics. And this we treated as our explanatory variable. And secondly, a categorical variable which recorded respondents' willingness to attend a peaceful demonstration or protest, and which was treated as our response variable. And so in this tutorial, we will still be examining the relationship between these two variables. However, we're going to do this while taking account of a third control variable. And this is the variable in our data set named gender. And we can see how this additional variable is being coded if we click on the right-hand side of the box in the values column. And this shows us that female respondents in our data set have been assigned the value 0, whereas male respondents have been assigned the value of 1. And any respondents who, for whatever reason, did not answer the question have been assigned the value of minus 98. OK, so we can now click Cancel to come out of the Value Labels box. And we're ready to go ahead and run the analysis. And for this, we need to select the Analyze drop-down menu. And then, under Descriptive Statistics, select cross tabs. So from the first cross tabs tutorial you'll probably recall that it's my preference to select the explanatory variable for the rows and the response variable for the columns. And so our explanatory variable was how interested are you in politics with two response categories and that's this one here. So the first thing we can do is select that with the left mouse button and then use the arrow at the top here to move it across into the rows box. Now our response variable was this one here. Would you ever attend a peaceful demonstration or protest? So we can select that variable again with the left mouse button and this time use the arrow here to move it across into the columns box. And now lastly we need to select our third control variable and that was respondents gender, this one here. So we can select that and the control variable goes in the layer box, this one at the bottom. So we use that arrow to move the variable across. And so there are two more options we need to select before we can run the analysis. The first of which is to specify that we require the chi-square test statistic, which we do by clicking the statistics box at the top right, and then selecting chi-square, and clicking continue. And the second option we need to select is for row percentages. And this means that each category for our row variable will then be broken down according to the response categories for our column variable, with the cells in each row adding up to 100%. So to request this option, we just need to click on the cells box on the top right, and then select row percentages, and click continue. And we can then proceed to run the analysis by clicking OK. So now we can have a look at our output for the three-way cross-tab and chi-square test. And as usual for this function SPSS, the first table that we get in our output is just the case processing summary, which shows the number of valid responses against the number of missing values and the total number of respondents. So in order to see the three-way cross-tab itself, we're going to need to scroll down in the output viewer window. And I'll also just scroll across to give us a better look at the table as a whole. And so when we introduce a third variable to our crosstab, in this case the respondent's gender, we get what are known as partial tables. And so in this case, we have two partial tables. The first for female respondents in our data set, and the second for male respondents. And then within each of our partial tables, we have a breakdown of answers to our response variable, would you attend a peaceful demonstration or protest, for the two groups in our explanatory variable those who are not at all or not very interested in politics, or those who are quite or very interested in politics. And the key to interpreting a three-way cross-tab such as this one 
is to treat each partial table separately. So for example, the first partial table shows willingness to protest amongst female respondents between those with higher and lower levels of political interest. So here we can see that only 3.1% of female respondents who weren't very interested in politics have attended a protest, whereas amongst those who were interested in politics, 26.6% have attended a protest. Then turning to the second partial table for our male respondents, we can see here that 17.6% of those who weren't interested in politics had actually attended a protest, compared to 26.2% of male respondents who were interested in politics. And so the general story across the two partial tables seems to be that, both among male and female respondents, those with higher levels of political interest are also more likely to have attended a protest or demonstration. But the extent of the difference between those with low and higher levels of political interest appears to be greater amongst female respondents than amongst the male respondents. But in order to confirm whether or not this relationship between interest in politics and willingness to protest is statistically significant for both the female and male respondents in our sample, we need to look at the results of the chi-square test. And so for our female respondents, the value of our chi-square test statistic is 16.820. That's at 2 degrees of freedom. And with a p-value shown by SPSS in the last column as 0 0.000, but which we of course would state as less than 0 0.001. So amongst our group of female respondents, we can interpret this test statistic of 16.82 and its p-value of less than 0 0.001 as very strong evidence against the null hypothesis that, amongst female respondents, our two variables, interest in politics and willingness to protest, are independent or not associated in the population from which our sample data was drawn. But if we then turn to look at the results of the Pearson chi-square test for our male respondents, we can interpret the test statistic of 1.179 and its p-value of 0 0.555 as insufficient evidence against the null hypothesis that our two variables, interest in politics and willingness to protest, are independent or not associated in the population from which the sample data was drawn. And so in other words, assuming that we're working at the conventional 5% significance level, amongst male respondents we would fail to reject the null hypothesis that there is no relationship between interest in politics and willingness to protest within the population. Whereas amongst female respondents we could confidently reject the same null hypothesis as there is strong evidence that amongst the female respondents there is a relationship between interest in politics and willingness to protest, at least at the 5% significance level. And so in situations such as this, we have what is known as a partial association. And this would in fact bring us to the overall conclusion that when controlling for gender, the relationship between interest in politics and willingness to protest is no longer statistically significant overall. However, a partial association remains for female respondents. And so in conclusion, the respondent's gender does appear to have an impact on whether or not their level of interest in politics will affect their willingness to take part in a peaceful protest or demonstration. So in this tutorial, we've shown how to use SPSS to generate and interpret a three-way crosstab and its accompanying chi-square test.